Welcome back to my channel and a new beer review. This is Full Sail Brewing out of Hood River, Oregon, Session Dark Mexican Style Lager. Full Sail has been around since 1987, so more than 30 years. The bottle doesn't say anything else on it. I did find an archived page here on their blog. With its eye-popping packaging and crisp, easy drinking vibe, Full Sail Brewing Company's new Session Negra Mexican Style Lager, the latest member of the Session family, has been in fuego, and I don't know what that means, from the moment it hit the shelves. Slightly darker than the original Session Cerveza, this has toasted, toasty sweetness, copper color, and kind of malty aroma you'd expect from a Mexican lager. Session Negra is a clean, refreshing, easy drinking Mexican lager with a hint of caramel, says brewer Greg Doss. It's not a porter, and it's very different from Session Dark. And like every session, Session Negra is brewed to go down easy and put a smile on your face. I believe this was available all year. The six pack of Session beers were about six, seven dollars. I am not sure what the recipe is. They gave no detail on it. The Session beers are known for very simple recipes. There's probably not more than two malts in it. Most likely Pilsner malt. Toasted, sweet, some bread cracker grain, a dark malt such as a roasted midnight wheat, maybe some toasted malt in there, black patent malt, another one, it's another possibility. The other ones which I'm purely guessing on as far as like a midnight wheat or black patent or chocolate, those can give toasted coffee notes, a little bit of astringency, a little bit of a bitter bite. Hops for this. I couldn't even guess. Probably something with floral in it, maybe some earthy herbal. Being a lager, it was fermented very cold and then stored, which is what lagering is, at least a month, probably longer than that. Lager yeast has characteristics to give a very clean canvas, clean profiles, so the malts and the hops really shine through. Typically it's clean, crisp, and bright on the palate, but being a darker beer, I usually don't get all that. The body itself for this should be medium or full. 5% alcohol, 20 IBU. I think of them as very clean, light, pale beer, low in alcohol. The dark version of that is pretty much the same, except that they put a couple dark malts in it. It may have some toast, and maybe some roasted, possibly a little bit of coffee tones to it. They're really not a heavy hitting beer. medium copper, potentially medium amber color. The head has died down a little bit. It was a little bit thicker. It's very clear, as you can tell. You can see right through it, except it's tinted. That tells me that they use kettle findings in it to clear it up, cold crashed it. I don't think they filtered it though. That's very unusual for a brewery. It's medium carbonated, not overly dumb, but it shouldn't be. You can probably see the torrent of bubbles right in the middle going up. Very nice. Beautiful appearance. I love that color. So nice. I get very faint toasted. Maybe a slight hint of burnt. Possibly even some roast in there. But the toasted is the most dominant of anything. And even that is very restrained. No sweet, no malty, no floral. The toasted notes keep wafting back and forth over my nose very gently. If I wasn't drawing it in, I wouldn't even notice it. Coats the bottom section of my mouth only. There is some extremely faint sweetness, light toasted like a mean piece of toasted bread. Maybe just the slice tickle of a caramel back there. The bread cracker flavor is extremely faint. This is extremely light body. First I get hit with a very light toasted followed by a tiny tiny bit of maybe caramel. Those give a very thin coat on the bottom of my mouth. They don't stay there long at all and they just dissipate. There is no hoppiness. Nothing fruity, nothing citrus, floral, 
candy, anything like that. There's no spiciness, no maltiness, roasted chocolate coffee tones. As far as larger characteristics go, crisp, clean, bright, clean canvas, so all the flavors would come through, even though there hardly are any. Crisp, little bit bright, definitely not. The mouthfeel is extremely thin. This is pretty watery, not chewy, not heavy at all. Definitely not a complex recipe. I don't think they use one, two malts in this. I expect a little bit more of flavor, not strong and overpowering, but a little bit more noticeable being a dark beer. This coated my entire mouth top and bottom, unlike the glass. Very faint hint of that toasted bread. Gentle sweetness. No malty, no spicy, no fruit, candy, citrus, grain. No roasted, no coffee. I get nothing but light toasted, light caramel, but oh my god, are they faint. It actually tastes a little bit closer to medium body. No hoppiness at all. The flavors stick around a little bit longer out of the bottle. The mouthfeel is so watery. A tiny bit of chewiness to it, but not much. The recipe is still very simple as far as flavor goes. Do they taste the same? No, they don't. The bottle is a little more pronounced and gives a little bit more flavor to it, a little more ch the chewiness. The glass does not have all that. Overall, I'd say they taste very similar. There's not a significant difference. I've never had an off flavor with any full cell beer. Their quality control is excellent. They have a lab. I have my usual list that I go over all the time. I'm going to skip that this time, but just simply say this beer does not have any off flavors. It does taste solid and well rounded. Would I buy this again? No, I would not. It just doesn't have any life to it. There's really almost no flavors here. Just not impressed. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. It's not a great beer, but it's not bad. Overall, I'm not impressed. The flavors are bland. Not much there. Very little character, very little life. That doesn't make a horrible beer. I just was expecting more than that. For myself, it's well below average. Full Sail Brewing, Hood River, Oregon, Session dark Mexican style lager. If you have any comments, feedback, questions about beer, ways to improve the video, anything at all, just want to talk, send me a message. Hey right, folks, that's all I have for this beer review. Cheers. This is f from what the bartender, okay, fucking it. No, he didn't. He left. Never mind. Forget. That doesn't matter. He didn't leave full sale. Where the fuck is my, god damn, where's my mouse? <coughs> Now let me start over again.